Right, we are doing an unboxing and a review of the Lavalier Go, or should I say the Rode Lavalier Go professional grade wearable microphone. It costs round about £55, and I will stick a link in the video description in case you want to go and check it out. And you might be asking yourself why I bought one. Well, the reason is, I always wear, or when I'm doing my videos, I'm always wearing a microphone, a wireless microphone kit. And I recently broke one of my uh, microphones. I've had it for a couple of years, and it started playing up. And I think it actually broke on the inside first. So I decided to invest in something that hopefully is a bit stronger and more professional. And we will be testing this baby out. So with that, we're going to have a quick look around the box, see what you get for your money. Uh, so it's a TRS connection. There are two types. There's one, I don't know if I can actually show you. Let me see. But well, I can show you on the front. See the little black marks? You get two types. There's one as three, one as two, or actually there's three. There's one as three, one that has two, and one that has one black ring around it. And the two is more designed for stereo only, whereas the one with three is designed to go in, say, like a smartphone or something like that, so the smartphone would recognise it. But I only want it to go into my wireless kit, so I only need it to be stereo. You can buy some that actually have a smart connection on it, where it will tell the phone that it's a two or three connection or vice versa. But I wanted this little baby. I've read quite a few reviews and I like the sound of it. And yes, it's a bit expensive for what it is, but you get what you pay for, hopefully. So it's a TRS connection, so it's stereo, so that's what I need. It's broadcast quality, hopefully it should be very good. Like I said, it's not cheap. Wireless Go compatible, so perfect for my uh, Boyer wireless system and I do have more than one wireless system but I'm using the Boya at the moment. It tells you a bit of information on the back what you're getting so you're getting the microphone, you're getting a pop shield, a lavalier clip and a pouch to put it all in to keep it nice and tidy. I will be using it I think. So that's a looking around the box and you've got the serial number and all that. So yeah, looks quite nice. Let's get it undone shall we? That was a bit tough. So nothing else in the box, it's all in here. So a little bag, I'm not sure what it's made out of. Feels like plastic actually, smells like plastic as well. So uh, a do not eat thing. It's big isn't it? It's a big one, do not eat. Uh, let's get everything out shall we? So that is it, so that's a little clip in now. You've got your little uh, wind muffle sound thing on the top. What's this say? Warning. Strangulation hazard. Oh, okay. Yeah, we don't want to strangle ourselves. So that is it itself. So I'm going to tear that off. So come with a little warning, which is nice. Well, perhaps I'm not going to tear it off. <laughs> I'm going to get a pair of scissors on it. <laughs> so let's have a look at the clip. So there is a certain way to actually do this. You need to pair it put the cord in a little loop on here, I believe. And the reason for that is because it will work, be more efficient at working. It will hopefully uh, stop it getting caught up and rubbing against your material. Even the cable can rub against material. That's quite a thin cable, by the way. Let's take this little baby off. Right, I need to stop myself. You've got to pull it from down the bottom, otherwise you're going to pull it off and break it. So you've got to pull it from there. Right, so... That's nice and easy. That's quite thin, isn't it? That is really tiny. And I do believe that cable's made out of Kevlar. So hopefully we should get this off now. Hopefully. There you go. Come on, baby. There you go. That was easy. So yeah, so there's your little muffler. That's quite nice. Yeah, so that is really thin. I'm not sure how long it is. I will do a measure up or find out one way or another for you and stick it up there for you so you know exactly how long. It looks like it's quite a long lead, which is good. We like it long, but not too long. So, you know, it's difficult, I suppose, getting it right. So, yeah, it's quite a nice length. 
gold plated connection so that's really nice we will be testing it in a second just want to have a look around so yeah that is quite thin i'm quite surprised how thin that is now how easy is it to put this on so this is a crocodile clip not seen one like this before or this sort of style so imagine that would go on your body and uh that would go through there oh right i see so squeeze that in to open it up there you go and is that it a bit loose there it's a bit more too far right and about there there you go sorted now that's quite easy put this back on Yeah, I do believe that's made out of Kevlar. Does it sound there? I think it says somewhere. I think I read somewhere it's made, yeah, it's made from Kevlar. So it should be really tough and durable. That's why they stuck this on. Oh, that's why I see it. This cable contains Kevlar. There you go. So that's why they're worried about you strangling yourself. So, uh, because it probably won't break, it probably would strangle you. So with that, what I'm going to do now is plug it into my audio device, which is this equipment here. Yeah, so this is the Zoom H6, which I use for doing all my sound audio now. And this is a wireless receiver. So I'm going to plug it into the actual transmitter, which I'm wearing at the moment, and we're going to give it a test. Right, I've had a measure up, it's about two metres long, so a good length. And this is the one I'm using currently at the moment to do my recording on. And what we're going to do, we're going to swap it out and uh, have a listen and see if there's any difference. I doubt you would hear any difference, and I probably won't even hear any difference myself as well. But, we've got to test it, haven't we? Hello? Ah, oh, that works. So clip her on. Right, so, how's that? Checking my levels. Now, the levels look a little bit higher, actually, which surprised me. Yes, I might even have to turn my levels down on that, because it looks like it's a little bit higher, which is not a bad thing. But yeah, you normally have the cable hiding on the inside, but for this experiment, we're doing it on the outside, because obviously, you know, this is the product we're doing a review on. So uh, hopefully the quality is good, and I will have a listen to it in a minute. The cabling is a lot thinner than I thought. Well, they did say it was quite thin, and it's supposed to be really tough as well. So like I said, I'm going to have a listen to it now, and uh, I'll let you know what I think as well. Right, I've had a listen to it myself, and the sound was definitely too loud, so I've reduced the sound in the uh, video. I left a little bit in there as the settings was originally, just so you can hear how loud it was, and then I reduced that in the uh, video editing software, because it was just too loud and it was being distorted, so I thought, well, no point in leaving that in there, so I had to reduce it. I've now reduced the settings on there, on my uh, Zoom H6. I've turned it down at least from 8 to 7 or just under 7 now because it's picking up sound really good so I'm quite impressed how good a mic that really is so it cost me like 50 odd pound 55 pound something like that like I said I'll stick a link in the video description in case you want to buy one so is it worth paying the extra money yeah I think so because you're getting a Kevlar cable which is really tough so it shouldn't break the mic is a lot smaller than all my other mics that I use for my wireless and the quality is just as good, if not better. I don't know any difference between the other mics that I use and this one, except for this seems to pick it up a lot louder, so I've had to adjust all my settings, which is a good thing really, isn't it? And I do like the fact that it's a Kevlar cable and it's slightly longer as well. And I think I put in the video how long it is. I think it was two metres I worked out at, approximately, anyway. So, yeah, it definitely gets my thumbs up. If this is the sort of thing you're looking for, I would highly recommend it. It's working on my Boyer 
mic set, my wireless mic set perfectly well with no issues whatsoever. So yeah, it definitely gets my thumbs up. And if your video gets your thumbs up, give me the thumbs up. If you didn't, give me the thumbs down and uh, please subscribe. Thank you very much for watching.